From Zeus having an awesome hidden detail to the return of Midas, here are 50 secrets in Fortnite Season 2. Though you've been struck by the sheer power of Zeus's Thunderbolt, it's pretty overwhelming. But look back on this in slow motion though, and you'll see your character's skeleton for the first time in Fortnite history. One of the craziest secrets involves a character who went totally under the radar. Odyssey was here to tease Season 2, and now she's vanished. But when she returns, her skin will have a suspicious edit style. On her gauntlets, you'll see familiar shapes, and then pay attention to her helmet. Now we compare this to the Ageless, and the resemblance is striking. This isn't speculation, it turns out her set is codenamed the Ageless Odyssey, so it looks like Geno's story isn't over. But he's not the only famous character making a return. Head north of the underworld and check under this purple tree. You'll find a caravan full of hidden objects like Sky's beanbag and Meowsel's cat food. Turns out they're just waiting outside of the underworld preparing for the escape of Midas. Yeah, I wasn't kidding, he is finally coming back. Head to the underworld itself, and this prison cell reveals one of the best secrets in Fortnite. It's Midas's reboot card. After being eaten by a shark, Hades locked his soul away for years, but now it is time for him to get rebooted. That's unlike someone who is definitely dead, the Minotaur. Over at Brawler's Battleground, there used to be a Minotaur statue, and now it has been decapitated. There's also one near Grimgate, which could tease that multiple Minotaurs are out there. Does that mean we'll get an item shop skin in the future? I sure hope so. Season 2 is all about the details. At the top of Mount Olympus, this mural seems pretty normal, except one of the gladiators is secretly Peely. Yeah, I guess they're letting anyone into Zeus's army at this point. Mount Olympus may be tall, but I'm more impressed by the height of the secret chairs. In the north, you can find this random stack of furniture, whether it's stools or armchairs, and all the way at the top, there's a nice chest for you to find. Hopefully, this gets taller with every update. Now, my favorite hidden character is at the center of Mount Olympus, and he's holding a giant globe. From a distance, this looks like a reference to Atlas, a titan who was cursed to hold up the heavens for eternity. Move a little closer, though, and it's actually Meowsel, so I wasn't expecting that. Now, the secret doesn't end there. Check out the ball he's holding up, and it reveals all of the constellations that appeared on Pandora's box. Each one belongs to a different Battle Pass skin. Speaking of Pandora's box, you might be wondering what happened to it. Well, it's still on the island, just not in the best condition. The Titan hand has completely died off, and the box has been closed. So hopefully, we end this season by locking everyone away again. Something that is confusing everyone in Season 2 could either be a troll or a hilarious mistake. If you look at Ares' statue at Mount Olympus, something is terribly wrong. Yeah, he has six toes. What happened? here. His boss fight doesn't answer that question either because he's wearing shoes, but it does reveal a more intentional secret. As you battle Ares, he'll switch between two different styles. These will be real edit styles that you could equip when he drops as the April crew pack. Now, if you tried the new Gatekeeper shotgun, you might be disappointed to learn that it only had three rounds before reloading. But what if I told you there's a trick? If you go to the Meowsel's NPC, he sells an epic rarity Gatekeeper for 300 gold. And once you equip it, you'll realize it has an extended magazine with five shots. I personally love the Underworld biome, though, this place is absolutely huge and full of secrets. I could sit here and talk for hours about the architecture. I mean, look at these demon llamas. Both terrifying and adorable. And I was truly horrified when I looked inside these pillars and saw trapped souls trying to escape. That's the stuff of nightmares. On a lighter note, Mount Olympus looks way more beautiful, and their entrance isn't some creepy river. It's a gigantic gate with Spartan soldiers. In fact, when you walk up to Pantheon Path, it doves will fly out of the statues just to flex how much better this place is. Something I wasn't expecting thing is hiding in the Yacht POI. Yes, it is still here, and the boat has been updated with new screens that Chapter 2 fans will love. Now you can find the Shadow logo scattered all over the place. It's even on suitcases. Turns out, the Ghost vs. Shadow era is not over. The Chapter 2 throwbacks keep coming. On the Yacht's dashboard, our old friend Hula Meowsles makes an appearance. Not to mention, Brutus and Tiantina are back. After Midas' disappearance, Brutus took over his crew, and TNT has returned after a call from some old friends. It seems like most of the NPCs on the map right now are here just to tease Midas' return. I guess that's a big deal. I'll say this, no one expected Mythics to be so ridiculous in Season 2. Usually, when we have this many items, you could only hold one of each at a time. Well, not in ancient Greece. You could hold as many Zeus Thunderbolts as you want, and then pair it with the Icarus Wings to basically break the game. Obviously, one of the most striking things on the map right now isn't the Lightning Bolts, it's the huge statue at Mount Olympus. Olympus. I mean, this thing is massive. It even breaks through the clouds. So we just had to land here, and if you go to the end of the sword, two friendly coral buddies will say hello. One of my favorite secrets of the whole update is hiding on the Huntress DMR. In regular gameplay, it looks like a normal gun, but if you go in replay mode and zoom in, you'll realize the safety switch has a thunder and lightning icon. After all, this is Zeus's weapon of choice, apparently. Turns out there's more to the gods than we think. On the underworld shoreline, you'll find a romantic dinner set up for two people. No idea who was dating in the underworld, if I had to guess, maybe it's Hades and Persephone, but this seems way too joyful for the god of death. We'll keep an eye on this place, I'm hoping all is revealed in the future. Now head on over to the opposite bio.
biome and pay attention to the statues. Yeah, I know there's a lot of them, but one sticks out among the others. You're probably thinking we've never seen this character before. Well, technically we have. This is Stoneheart. Just not as you remember. In fact, it's a secret first look at an upcoming Greek version who originally looked like this in the surveys. I guess her final release will have a different outfit. Not the only insane reference around the map. If you're a fan of Ritzy Rivera, head to the underworld and you'll be able to get your final glimpse of the POI. In the dirt, cursed roots are pulling the last pieces into the ground, consuming the location forever. When you're completing the story quest this season, talking to Medusa reveals more than just some lore. She talks about Perseus, which in Greek mythology is the god who kills her, but this time she reveals he's a close ally instead, and we'll even meet him soon. Basically what I'm saying, there's definitely a chance we see him and more gods arrive in the shop throughout the season. And if you're near a bunker when they open, trust me, do not pass up on these things. Our gold reset with the start of the season, so if you think you can't afford a mod, think again. There are stacks of gold inside, so you can basically mod them for free. But if you aren't hiding inside one of these, perhaps you're camping at the top of Mount Olympus. Turns out someone else is joining you. If you climb all the way to the top of the temple, you can find a deck chair where they create a food like bread and sausage flavored cheese. Yeah, definitely one of the strangest Easter eggs in the game. Not the only temple you can visit thanks to the new season. Places like Coastal Columns were already themed around ancient Greece, so it makes perfect sense to return them to their former glory. The same goes for the ruin at Reckless Railways. Most people ignored the small temple on the hill, but now it has been completely rebuilt without a single crack. So if you like this POI, add this building to your drop. For those of you that prefer living on the darker side of the island, you're probably interested in the strangest pool party you'll ever see. Turns out it's not all bad in the underworld because some people have set up a pool party in the waters of Styx. This has got to be a demon's dream vacation. As you take a dive, pay attention to the water around you. Because it's filled with the souls of the dead, it'll actually move away from you because of your living aura. It's a crazy detail, but the aura will follow you everywhere you swim. If you'd rather swim with something more alive, then head over to Mount Olympus and check out their pools. They're filled with small fry swimming around, but they only appear in higher graphic settings, so if you want the true experience exploring these places, make sure to ramp it up. For the few people who are already missing Season 1, you'll be glad to hear not everything has been wiped out. Fans of Family Guy can still visit Snooty Steps and see a statue acting as a town fountain, and his golden Peter flag is still flying outside the mansion. Nice to see that it just wiped the collab out, but I can't say the same for the Turtles. Those guys made their base inside the sewers, along with Vengeance Jones. It was a massive metro station, something we had never seen in the game before, but for some reason, Epic has completely blocked it off. But at least they've unlocked another feature that has been missed for a whole year. Supply drops revolted when we got combat caches, but now they're back thanks to shadow assignments. Simply find a station around the map and call one in nearby. If you're in need of shields instead, then the Slurp Barge is your new best friend. Last season, this was crashing the rocky cliffside, but thanks to the gods, it has been fixed with all the cargo back on board. Something that hasn't been resolved though is the 2 billion ammo glitch. Last season we were all blown away when Oscar kept dropping so many shotgun shells and now it's happening once again with the AI bots. One teaser that's got everyone talking was hidden before the season even began. In the first cinematic we can see Artemis holding her DMR, but look closely in the scope and you can make out a figure with a red shirt and blue pants. People instantly thought of Luffy from One Piece, but unfortunately it was revealed to be this guy. Bruh. A new change they added was directed at one player specifically. Comp players launched season 2 only to find out Ranked no longer gave bonus points if you didn't take damage from other players or eliminated yourself. It's basically the entire strategy of Bush Camp Dad who got to Unreal. They also targeted Peely throughout all of last season, but now that he's finally saved, his secret locker icon has been changed. Previously, we had a missing poster stuck onto a slot, but now he's been rescued and that questionable storyline is over. In season 2, he's happy once again. While you're in there, take a look at the new preset Shuffle. We had this taken from us when Epic upgraded to the new UI and left some players begging for its return. Now it is finally back and you can shuffle your skins, emote, and even cars. Perhaps one of the best changes for cosmetic lovers this update is to the hollow back bling. You can choose any of your emoticons to be displayed except the animated ones, which became even worse considering they're all animated now. Well now that's changed, you can finally equip animated ones on there too, so let's just hope Epic enables the hidden tab for sprays too. Back on the island, there is one secret change no one has noticed. On a small beach, the sand castles have changed color. Yeah, for some reason they're not blue and pink and while it's probably just a bug, it leaves you wondering, how does this even happen? Another secret change you should keep your attention on is with one of the most sought after skins right now, Kratos. Before the season, there was rumors of him returning with Atreus for a new collab, and while it didn't seem true, players have noticed his expression has been updated and now he's even more menacing. It's a clear sign he could be set to return in the coming weeks. Once you unlock Poseidon in the past, one thing you gotta try is his emote. Sure, it's adorable, but listen closely and the tune might just sound familiar.
Recognize it? It's the same note that the other conscious played at Coral Castle because they're a part of the same kingdom. Speaking of kingdoms, one you can spot from almost anywhere right now is Olympus. Sure, it's a thousand feet tall, but it's also thanks to the giant spotlight shining down from the heavens. Meanwhile, one change that is way more subtle is that Grand Glacier. Montague used to keep this place in shape, but now the society has collapsed and hope has taken over. She's not only moved into the hotel, but she's even started redecorating the entire wall. Those are 50 secrets in Fortnite Season 2. Thank you guys so much for 6 million subscribers. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.